What's up, Internet? Welcome back to Toying Around, the toy reviews with the information that toy posers and collectors are looking for. Today I'm back with another Star Wars Black Series review. This is for Admiral Piet from Empire Strikes Back. Check out Big Bad Toy Store for Admiral Piet and other Star Wars Black Series figures. I'll have a link in the description below. So let's get a closer look at the box here. Black Series, Admiral Piet on the side, and... I'm not going to read that whole thing, but as you know, he was a captain in Empire until Admiral Ozil just kept messing up and Vader had enough and immediately promoted the captain to Admiral once he force choked Ozil through their FaceTime. So we're going to open him up and see how he fits alongside your Imperial's display. So here's Admiral Piet out of packaging. He looks pretty good. He comes with a blaster and his officer's hat. Here's the face sculpt to see if I can get even closer. And I think it looks pretty decent compared to the original actor. Here's a side by side of the figure next to the actor. It's not bad considering it's based off of a film from 1980. Here's a detail on his belt, and the rest of it is pretty underwhelming. Articulation wise, head goes left to right, looks up this much, down this much, shoulders go up to here, range of motion, no bicep swivel, elbows only go this far up, can really even touch his face. I would like to see Black Series add some double jointed elbows, even on Tarkin over here who doesn't have double jointed elbows, he can't do any of those thinking poses. Waist turns here. Here's the articulation for the legs. This is a kind of hard plastic and wraps around here pretty tightly on the back as well. So there's not much articulation. Leg comes out this much. Far back, forward, backwards. Double jointed knee and ankle goes like this. The left hand is a pistol holding hand, and the right hand is another. I mean, it's two different grips, but they're both pistol holding hands, and no hand swaps on this figure. Okay, so now we're going to put his hat on. It fits really nicely, and it looks pretty screen accurate. It's a very well made accessory. Uh, the blaster in the right hand. and it doesn't fit as well into the left hand. Size-wise, Piet is just over six inches tall. Okay, now doing some size comparisons. Here's Admiral Piet next to Grand Moff Tarkin. And here he is next to a Black Series Vader. This is the original Vader with the removable mask. And here's Piet next to some Stormtroopers. On the left, we have the SH Figuarts Rogue One Stormtrooper. And on the right is the regular Black Series Stormtrooper. I'd give Admiral Piet a 7 out of 10. Limited range for a 6 inch figure, I mean it's on par with Star Wars Black Series, but that doesn't really make it okay. The hat is well done, when it's on it looks like it's a single sculpted piece with the head so it fits smoothly. You only get two hands, one hand holds the blaster well, the other one I have no idea what it's for. I would love to see some double jointed elbows, and also maybe an extra face swap for a reaction when Vader is force choking that Admiral who's next to Piet. Will you be adding this figure to your Empire collection? Comment below and let me know what you think of Piet. Please like the video, thanks for subbing if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching and keep toying around.